Hi, Tesla fans. It is March 10th. Or is it the 11th? No, March 10th. This is to address what uh, I noticed in the previous video. I got a little bit of criticism for calling Traffic Aware Cruise Control Autopilot. Uh, I thought it was a broad term. This is the paragraph I saw. Autopilot, uh, significantly increased sensor info. Your Tesla will match speed to traffic conditions. Keep within a lane. Automatically change lanes. Blah, blah, blah. When near a parking spot, it'll self-park. So all of these summon traffic aware cruise control and auto steer features seem to be under the autopilot package. So I, I just broadly called it autopilot. Anyway, I might be completely wrong. Maybe it was different in the previous uh, generation, but I want to know what you guys think. And I'm excited because we got another one of these. Software update. In this video, I'm going to be piling together the updates that I got from February, and let's get this installed now. The ones from uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. How'd you do that? Anyway, they um, finally allowed to use autopilot on local roads. Only catches I have to be going uh, 35 or less. So let's get behind these cars here. Get down to 35, double pull. There we go. Ooh. In one mile, that turn left onto Orange Thorpe <laughs> Avenue. There was a, uh, what do you call that? like a little uh, cutout in the, the curb, something like this, you know, where the curb changes direction, and Tesla definitely wanted to pull to the right, so definitely, uh, still has some learning to do as far as the, the AI fleet learning, but you can't activate it at a standstill, it's the things I'm learning, I want to say it's 8 miles an hour, I get down to 35, Done. And there we go, the hands off shot. No hands, no feet. Yeah, the icon turns on. Uh, in this update, that's definitely new. Uh, the fact that it can, okay, I do have to cancel it to make a main change. 11th. I'm about to upload this video and I realized the audio was botched up. Anyway, faster driving with auto steer. Focus. The natural minor evolutions, you know, 5 miles per hour here, 10 miles per hour there. Uh, fan speed more precisely. I never used that, so. We added fan speeds 1 through 3. Okay. Anyway, auto, auto park for parallel parking. I've yet to use this. So I'll probably make a video uh, when I get to get the perfect conditions to use it. I haven't gotten it to activate. All right, auto steer while on local roads. You guys will get to see that in this video. Side collision warning, that also pops up. It works on cars and curbs. Forward collision warning, that was in there. And traffic wear cruise control. Low speed auto steer. I also get to show you guys that one. That one's pretty interesting, the, the blue car. When it loses tracking for the lanes, it'll use the vehicle ahead of you to uh, to track, to steer the car. A little following sheep. But anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Here we go. Gonna... Oh, we're going too fast. See, the thing is, because the camera's there, <laughs> I can't see how fast we're going. Alright, so let me slow down a little. Alright, here goes a slow down. Double pull. Okay. It seems to be working. There goes the car on its own. Veering a little bit and slows down. That's it, there's the, the magic. 
Let's give autopilot another shot. Pull, pull. Okay. Well, that was definitely a bad thing. <laughs> the car clearly cut over to the left uh, through the intersection. Like I said, it's the first iteration of this uh, technology for the local local roads. I pause every time a uh, car starts to come out because I think the car might try to dodge it. So, uh, but no, it did okay. It just kind of moved a little bit to the right as the car was pulling out. Okay. This is interesting. No, not bad. Okay, just gonna do a stop. But yeah, that's the uh, gist of it. Yeah, obviously, no feet on the pedals. Come on, camera. Sorry to be switching you between washed out exterior and uh, instrument panel views, but there it goes. And it's navigating this turn on its own. It's a little, a, a mild right turn. All right, it's doing a little bit of junk driving right now. Leaving left and right. Okay, it's doing a good job of going straight. Yeah, you get the idea. Interesting. Double pull. We can go up to 50 miles per hour. Okay, before on the overpasses, uh, the shadow that the overpass casts. Notice how I shut up when a truck comes by. <laughs> I, I, I've noticed the Tesla seems to, uh, in my experience, it, it just cuts a little, gets a little too close to him. Whenever a semi goes by, I, uh, I just happen to grab the wheel and you know t tug it a little bit away from the semi. Oh, there we go. Perfect example. I don't know if you guys caught that. Uh, that's the sound it makes when you let go of the steering wheel. And it's warned you a few times. and. back on. What I have tried is the uh, the lane change, and it doesn't seem to do it. I know in the uh, Autopilot 1 cars, it, it did do the, the, the lane changes when there was enough space in the, uh, the lane next to you. In the Autopilot 1 cars, it, it, when you did signal, it uh, as long as it had enough space, it would do the lane change for you. signal on and yeah it doesn't seem to affect it much it's actually drifting to the right oh oh that's scary the car tried to uh it, i guess it missed the, the line we wanted to go off the exit ramp like i said they're still working on the technology but super cool we see if anything interesting happens i know the autopilot software is able to in the absence of lanes, it can track the car ahead of you, and it kind of follows it. It'll highlight it blue, according to the uh, release notes. So, I have a X3 ahead of me, and light just went green. I just want to see what the Tesla does. So you have to push the pedal a little bit to get it to go from a standstill. And, yep, we were going straight through the intersection. I'm guessing it's not made to do, uh, you know, sharp right-hand turns. It's more of a gentle curve in the, uh, like a, a road. Now turn right onto California 91 West. This might be interesting. We have a uh, on-ramp coming up to the 605. So I'm going to give it the, uh, the test. I'm going to signal over to the right. It, I don't think it works. I really don't. No. The car uh, continues on its, you know, on its path forward, but does not, uh, it doesn't affect it at all to have the turn signals on. So. Now keep to the right onto I-605 North, then bear right towards San Gabriel Freeway North. 
You guys are really good at, uh, oh, let's see what it does. Cutting in ahead of us, brakes, brakes on its own. Yeah, I had my, <laughs> my right foot twitch just a little bit when that, uh, that Pontiac topped the head. I'm sorry, I got nervous. Oh, it wasn't, let's say not, it wasn't a complete cutoff because the Tesla was accelerating on its own and the Infinity happened to be cutting in, so that made me nervous. I definitely put my, my foot on the brakes. Ports, San Gabriel Freeway North. Yeah, here goes the Tesla doing the gentle curve all on its own. That's a good shot right there. All right, what do you do, Tesla? What do you do? Good. Yeah, that's the car. You know, I've got my finger on it, but I'm not doing much of this. Nothing much as far as inputs. I'm just, you know, giving it a little bit of resistance on the uh, wheel. That wraps it up. I'm enjoying this latest iteration of Autopilot 2.0. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna keep making videos every time this Tesla now gets a. Uh, every time this Tesla gets a new update. And for those people that are concerned about me showing you the VIN number, I treat it kind of like license plates. License plates, unfortunately, you can walk up to any car and you see them. And the same thing, since the license plates are being shown, your, uh, your VIN number is shown here on your windshield. So I'm not really worried about it. And there's nothing much I can do. <laughs> can't hide my plates, can't hide the VIN. So I don't mind you guys on the internet seeing it.